Hey Greg, I know that I'm late to this video. I'm gonna be talking about the Dobre Brothers new music video with Lil Pump. It's called You Know You Lit. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you that this is new, okay? It's a couple weeks old, so I'm sorry for being a little bit tardy to the party. If you've already seen other people talk about it, I'm sorry. But you know what? When they released that song a couple weeks ago, it wasn't even new then, okay? Because they've already released this song twice before in slightly different formats. They've uploaded You Know You Lit in 2017, 2018, and finally 2020. I don't know why they keep remaking the exact same song just slightly differently. And that's really what I want to talk about today. Because while the recent music video is pretty bad, it's even worse considering the fact that this is the only song that they can come up with. They've been making the same song for three years. So in today's video, I'd like to take a trip to the past, even more so than I already was going to, and talk about the history of You Know You Lit. Yeah, we're not flipping this time. We actually about to rap. rap. Hey, Dobra brothers, Dobra. let's get it. Easy money. It's about to get lit. Get lit. Alright, Lucas, you started off, I'll follow. Alright, you're ready, yo. I'm about to go in. I like that they're trying to like amp themselves up at the beginning of the song. I guess they do this in the beginning of a lot of rap songs where there's like a long period of instrumental before the beat drops. So they sort of had to fill that space by just like ad-libbing and saying stuff to get you in the vibe of the song. But I just like in this one how it seems like they're like planning the song. Okay, so we're gonna rap, right? Yeah, I think so. Why, did you wanna sing? No, no, you're right. We should definitely rap. Let's all rap, okay? We're gonna rap. Good, so we all agree this is going to be a rap song. When we're done, can we go to Chili's? Okay, Lucas, you go first. I'm Lucas and I'm gonna go first. And I'm gonna sing. No! no! Alright, Lucas, you started off. I'll follow. Alright, you ready? Yo, I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in, yeah. I swear to God, dude, I'm gonna go in right now. I swear. The second I go in, I'm gonna go in so hard. Dude, the song's over. We finished like an hour ago. We just did it without you because you wouldn't stop saying I'm gonna go in. Started from the grocery store. Now I own the grocery store. Head spinning through the aisles, flipping through my marble floor. So we start off with a line referencing the Dobre brothers passed on Vine. They used to do Vines where they would uh, backflip in front of people at the grocery store and get in their way. But now he's so rich that he's saying he owns a grocery store. And he says he can just head spin through the aisles all day. Just spinning around on his head like a fucking Beyblade. Just bouncing off the aisles. That's the life, isn't it? Buy a grocery store and just spin around on your head. The American dream. Teachers say we couldn't make uh, it, but we still do what we love. Now we heading for the hills. We be watching from above. Nah, oh shit. Is it just me or does it look like he pulled something when he did that move? Like that was the first time he ever tried that and the second he got up there, he was like, oh fuck. Like look at his face. That is the face of someone who just realized that he can't do that dance move. That's that not getting out of bed for three weeks face. He genuinely looks scared. Like he doesn't know what's gonna happen next. He's like, am I just gonna be stuck like this forever? Hit it like you don't care. Hit it if you ain't scared. Hit it like you don't care. Hit it if you know you lit. All right, I love this chorus. Hit it if you don't care. Hit it if you ain't scared. Hit it if you don't care. Hit it if you know you lit. A very interesting chorus, I gotta say. I honestly don't know what it means. Like, are they talking about hitting a dance move? Like hitting the woe? Hitting them folks? Are they talking about hitting it like some kind of sex thing either way why would you be scared dude i think that girl likes you huh really yeah dude i think so dude go over there and hit it hit it like you're not even scared to dude you got it dude what what huh you're scared you're scared to hit it i'm not bottom red bottoms and i'm smacking that a calls for a pause but we ain't here to play bachelor degree master degree made it through where were you Oh, okay. An educational flex. Bachelor we degree, did. master's degree, made it through. Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> Why did you help me study for finals, dude? I almost failed. Where were you when I was getting my master's degree? You know, before I was even trying to do social media? If you didn't support me back then, then you get no love now. It's also a little bit funny to flex a degree that you're clearly not using at all now. I don't even know what his degree is, but quite frankly, I don't think I have to, to know that he's not using it in the videos that he's making now. Like fake tongue prank on brothers. I'd be pretty hard pressed to think of a degree that is necessary to make that video. Hop in my chariot, they call me Apollo. One, two, three, and then I'm four. What? <laughs> One, two, three, and then I'm four. What does that mean? <laughs> all right, everyone. On the count of three, I will be four. One, two, three, and then I'm four. Hop in, that's drop top. 
Yeah, that grind, it's non-stop. Non -stop. That's your girl right there. right there. She got my name on her crop top. Yeah, that's a weird line because I can't picture anyone like over the age of 11 wearing a Dobre Brothers shirt. What does he mean by that? Is that your girl? That's my daughter. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. She's wearing a Dobre Brothers crop top. She's my daughter now. GTR, I'm swerving. What? Got your head turning. Yeah. 220 on the dash. Launch control, whiplash. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think he's trying to say he crashed his car. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, that sucks. He said, GTR, I'm swerving. Lost control, whiplash. Yikes. That's not a flex. That's sad. Now, I think we both really enjoyed that song. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think you'd be surprised at just how successful this song became. This song has 120 million views on YouTube. Isn't that crazy? How does that happen? The next one's got 70 million. They're really out here. I mean, say what you want about the songs. Not being good and being the same song over and over, but they pull the views. This next one they uploaded in 2018. It's called You Know You Lit Remix featuring 6 ix 9 That's right, the, the rapper 6 ix 9 is supposedly in this. Spoiler. Which is kind of crazy that they got 70 million views on a song <laughs> featuring 6 ix 9 and it doesn't even have 6 ix 9 in it. That's a wild strategy. Just saying someone's in your song that's not. Bottle red bombs and I'm smacking that A. Call shot calls cause we kill it every day. Bachelor degree, master degree. He really wants you to know that he's got a master's degree. Did he say where were you again too? Made it through. Where were you? He really wants you to know that he has a master's degree and he also really wants to know where you were when he was doing that. Why weren't you there? We don't need to cover too much in this song. It's almost identical to the first one. Most of their verses are almost exactly the same. It's the same beat. The only real thing that's different is that 6 9 is in this even though it's not even 6 9 6 9 with the crew, yeah. Don't think I'm a fool, yeah. And the imposter 6 9s verse is loud and that is all. All right, so there's all your background. Those are the You Know You Lits up until now. Now we have been blessed with the song You Know You Lit featuring none other than Little Pump. And this song is admittedly a lot better. The first two were very, it just seemed like they had no flow, no presence at all. That one dude really wanted you to know that he had a master's degree. And in this one, to be quite frank, it doesn't really seem like he cares if you know that or not, which is an improvement for sure. But you can definitely tell that they worked on their flow a little bit, thought about their lyrics a little bit more. They also actually got Lil Pump in this one. It's not just some guy dressed like him, which was definitely a surprise to me. I really thought it was just gonna be an imposter again. But with all that being said, I'm still gonna clown on him because it's what I do. I am a clown. Let's check it out. We back again, hitting it again. Oh, Get yeah. up on your feet and bring a friend. Aww, did he just friend zone his girlfriend? That's his girlfriend. He said bring a friend and it panned up to his girlfriend who's just staring blankly at the camera. Do you think she saw this later and was like, what the fuck? What is, what's that supposed to mean? Have we just been friends this whole time and I didn't know? And he comes up and he's like, hey, what'd you think about the music video, pal? If you you know you lit, yeah. Man, I know I'm lit. Hit it if you know you lit. That girl, I think it's Lucas's girl, it's Lucas or Marcus's girlfriend, seems like she does not want to be there at all, whatsoever. I feel really bad actually, because at first he friend zoned her, and now she's just kind of like standing around for the rest of the music video, kind of like, well, what am I doing here then? Wait, hold on. Is there like a weird subplot going on in this? I think I'm catching on to something here. One second. So Lucas calls his girlfriend his friend, and then like in the rest of the video, she looks kind of sad, and then in this shot, it looks like they're arguing. <laughs> Hit it if you know you lit, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm lit. Hit it if you know you lit. Everyone else is like dancing all happy and like rapping at the camera. And these two are just like, why did you call me your friend? I'm not your friend. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't realize we were dating. Is that so hard to believe? Yeah, actually, it's been three years. You know what? I think I figured out what this song is actually about. The whole hit it if you know you lit. I was unsure before, but I think I've got it now. This song is directed at Cody Ko. Because they challenged him to a like a boxing match, right? They want him to hit them if he knows he's lit. This song goes out to Cody Ko. If you really know you're that lit, then hit us. Punch us in the face if you know you lit. Come on. Come on, buddy. Put him up. Let's go, punch us if you know you lit. I just love that the whole premise of this song revolves around like saying this phrase over and over, hit it if you know you lit, that 
I don't even know if they know what it means. Like, I think they're just saying it. It is kind of interesting. They've released this song multiple times, and the first time they released it, the chorus had a lot of words, like lots of different lines, or at least a few. And in this song, it's just, hit it if you know you lit. Yeah, you know you lit. It's just kind of devolved each time. Eventually, they're just gonna get rid of all the other words, and the song is just gonna be like, hit. Hit, 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 hit. I'ma hit it like I don't hit care. It, it. Balenciaga got like 10 pairs. Hit it, hit it, quit it, no I ain't scared. I'm starting to think he is scared. They keep talking about not being scared. What is there to be afraid of? I don't understand. They're either having sex or dancing. Why does he keep talking about it if he's not scared? No one thinks you're scared. I'ma hit it like I don't care. I'ma hit it like I ain't scared. I'ma hit it, I'm a brave guy. I'ma hit it and I won't cry. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, Lil Pumps first. Hit it cause you know I'm lit. Got two bust downs on my wrist. Ooh, no I can't wipe no chick. No. Lil Pump never spent his money on a bitch. I gotta admit the first time I watched this, I did not think that Lil Pump was really in this. The first couple shots he looks edited in. And they like stabilized it weird or something. Like they put some weird filter on it that makes him look like he's not a part of the video. I don't know why they did that. It's like they're trying to make you think he's not really in it. But I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure that that's Lil Pump and I'm pretty sure that he was there. And one of the ways that I can tell is that when they filmed the rest of the music video, it was daytime, and then when Lil Pump shows up, it's nighttime. Like, that was the only time Lil Pump was available, or even funnier, if he showed up, like, five hours late to the shoot, because, you know, that's what you do when you're a famous musician. You show up late to things. Because I just really love the thought of, like, the Dobre brothers all turning up to their song and filming it for like two hours being like, yeah, we know we lit. And then like they all finish their verses and then just kind of have to sit around being like, he should be here by now, right? He's not coming, dude. He's not fucking coming. I knew it. He knows he's lit. He knows he's too lit. He's not going to come. That's a big power move on Lil Pump's part, showing up five hours after everyone else is done filming. I'm pretty sure he also brought his own girls because... There's way more girls here now than there were before. All right, so there's a big elephant in the room here that I think pretty much everyone who's talked about this song has talked about, and that's that like Lil Pump does not look like he wants to be there at all. And I don't think he does. Like he straight up looks like he's being held hostage. If you told me that they filmed this whole music video and recorded this song without thinking Lil Pump was gonna be in it, but then later that night, they happened to see him leaving a club and they kidnapped him and brought him back to their crib and made him film this really quickly before the cops got wise, I would probably believe you. But on the other hand, it also kind of looks like the Dobre brothers don't give a fuck that he's there either. They're just kind of like, uh -huh, yeah, okay, we did it. We got little pump in the song. Fuck Balenciaga, Louis, Ooh. you know my life is a movie. Hey, yeah. last night was a movie, dude. I kicked it with the Dobre brothers. You should have seen the shit we got into, dude. We did that last to stop using mouth wins challenge. We did that pranking my girlfriend 100 times in 24 hours challenge, which is a brutal title, by the way, dude. This is a 15 minute video where this girl supposedly gets pranked 100 times. That's insane. That's like seven pranks a minute. Shit, maybe his life is a movie. All right, guys, well, there you have it. There's the history of You Know You Lit. I hope you learned something. I hope you had a good time. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Greg is what I call my subscribers. So consider subscribing to be Greg. Thank you, Queen Kazzy, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where a pumpkin talks for 15 minutes with me on its shirt. Bye. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch Or just watch this video I know we had a lot of fun yeah. A lot of fun But you can't stay on this end screen forever no. This video is over now yeah. Over now So why are you still watching this?